you're looking for a well-built, quality-built, adjustable electric desk, uh, this seems to be a good choice at this point. Hey there, this is gonna be a quick review of the Fezibo. This is a 63-inch uh, L desk. It's triple motor and it is height adjustable. I wanna go over the packaging real quick, then I'm gonna do a quick time lapse of the build and let you know how long it took to build it and then my thoughts about building it, were the instructions okay or not. Uh, and then initial first thoughts. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, the box itself is heavy. It's 106.9, so pretty much 107 pounds. It has held up, but it's only held by tape, um, which I'm kind of surprised. Normally heavy boxes have staples in them so they don't fall apart. The bottom of this, which you're not able to see, uh, has started falling off. That's the way it was delivered on my porch and then getting it down into the basement was quite a joy. Before we go into the time lapse, let's talk about the desk itself. Um, it has a height, a height adjustability of approximately 27.5 inches to 47 inches. It has programmable, programmable height settings so you can adjust how high you want it to be. It's got a digital display anti-collision technology, which I'm excited to be testing out, and a 330 pound uh, capacity, which apparently they ran like 50,000 tests up and down um, to verify that according to the literature on the uh, Amazon site. And it's got caster wheels that are lockable. So if you want, you can put the wheels on, move it around, maybe figure out where do you wanna put your desk? I know I plan on doing that. And uh, once you get things situated, you could always take the wheels off and just have it on the ground. All righty, folks. So I'm going to get this situated. So hopefully it doesn't fall over. Let me get, all right, let me get the timer going. And I have no tools ready. I have nothing. I'm just going to start reading the instructions and seeing where it goes. And I'll be back in a quick minute to let you know how that went. Let's get this thing started. All right, that's how long it took me to get this desk all put together and I wasn't rushing it. The nice thing is it came with all the tools except for a Phillips screwdriver. That was the only tool I needed. I do recommend using an actual hand driver versus an as an electric drill because this is probably some sort of particle board, I'm guessing, MDF, I'm not sure what's underneath. Um, but you could overstrip it really easy. So let me talk about um, putting it together. The instructions were great, by the way. There are, they're very detailed. And the one thing you do want to be careful of with these instructions is that if they have a call out, let's see if I can, if they have a call out like they do right here, make sure you look at that call out because I got stumped a little bit a couple of times and it's because I wasn't paying attention to the instructions or uh, like putting these legs together. There's three legs and so I thought the assembly would be the same for all three. Well, one of them required a different piece and so again, just pay attention to the instructions. If you feel like you're a little stumped, look at the call outs because like putting the power pack you got to plug this thing in. There's a little power pack that you got to um, install. And it wasn't very clear to me in the instructions if it went this way or this way. And if you zoom in, they have a call out and it actually marks where on the power pack it goes. So again, just pay attention to details. Um, the other thing I noticed is that because this is a desk, it's designed to go down. It's a little flimsy lifting up, which isn't an issue when it's all put together. But when you have to attach the legs and then put the desktop on it, um, because this is two, three pieces, 
it was a little flimsy, so you really have to kind of hold it with two hands and just be careful with this desktop um, before it's mounted so that you don't bend the tabs or break anything. But super simple. I do want to say the hardware. I, they give you a little extra hardware. Um, and this hardware is chunky. I mean, the screws are chunky. The um, Allen threads are chunky. They're just really, really nice. They did not chimp out or skimp out, I should say. And the quality seems really good also. Sometimes you get inexpensive furniture and you could just feel like, oh, this is pop metal or some cheap metal. Not the case with this. I mean, look how thick that head is um, for the Allen. So when you put the Allen key in there, it is, it's got a good place to seat uh, and fit in. The, uh, when you have to screw into the wood surface, there are little itty bitty holes. And so what I found helpful is having a flashlight, which I have around here somewhere, um, because you're having to look through holes in the legs to find this little itty bitty divot that they put in the wood so that your screw will start. So having a flashlight was really beneficial for that. Other than that, I mean, this thing went together. It took me an hour and a half. I saw some people in the reviews, took them three hours. Other people said, oh, it's going to take me all day. I think it just depends on your skill. I wasn't going at it um, at a quick rate. I was kind of leisurely taking my time. Once you get everything set up, you do need to calibrate. There's three motors, three different legs. Make sure you go through the calibration process. And I'm at the very low center section right now and the top of the desk measures 27 and a half inches and then I forget I preset a couple of calibrations the display shows you the inches so this currently says 31 inches on the display I think it's off it's off by about a quarter inch no big deal this is kind of my I felt comfortable I brought my chair in I was like okay this is going to be a good place where I want to sit and then for standing I went ahead up to let's see where it stops. It's quiet, by the way. I mean, it makes some noise, but it's actually pretty quiet. Went up to 45 and a half. That may be all the way up. This shows about 45 and the display shows 45 and a half. I'm not sure if that's all the way up. That's all the way up. She won't go up anymore. Uh, there are three presets on the front of this. And so, you know, you got, uh, you got three different options there. Uh, some people complained that it was not sturdy, that it wiggly wobbled and those types of things. I have a feeling maybe they didn't tighten everything down because unless I'm purposely trying to wiggle this, it's really not moving. I feel it's pretty sturdy. Uh, let me see what else I put down here as far as notes. Yeah, I just feel like this was, this was nice. And even the packaging that it came in, it was in this really thick... It's not styrofoam, but whatever the other plastic foam padding stuff is, it was well um, put together. I did not have any issues with the wood being chipped or knocked, nicked, nicked, knocked. Um, all the hardware, the legs, the support rods that go underneath that seemed like they had plenty of screws to attach, so they didn't chimp, cheap out on hardware. I'm really impressed with this. So these are my initial thoughts of getting this up and running. I'm gonna do another video once I've actually used it and had a chance to put the monitors, the computers, check out the uh, anti-collision technology and all that type of stuff, but that's gonna be in a separate video. Uh, if you're looking for a well-built, quality-built, adjustable electric desk, uh, this seems to be a good choice at this point.